We've just been celebrating Bantia's 30th anniversary of his return to the West from India. And it was three years after that that he founded the FWBO. So ever since then, since 1967, for 27 years, he's been at the helm of the FWBO. And over the years, as time's gone on, he's been able to start passing on responsibilities to the Western Buddhist order. But now, after 27 years, and all that work and effort on Bhante's part, that patience, that, uh, yeah, tremendous work, he's at a point where he feels that he can pass on the last of his responsibilities to the order. So, in a way, that marks the most significant step since the founding of the order. It's as if we're now moving on with Bhante as our founder, passing things on to the next generation. And in that way, it's, it's very positive because it's, it's as if Bhante is giving a, a real vote of confidence to the order and to the FWBO. He feels we can stand alone, as it were. And uh, I'm very pleased that we've arrived at that point because we're going to celebrate Bhante's 70th birthday next year. And I would very much like Bhante to be free after these years of uh, taking such responsibility, just to be free to, to spend his time however he wants to do it, and uh, to have as many of his remaining years, which I hope will be very many, as possible, free to not have to take all the responsibility for the FWO. So what he's doing is he's actually passing on his responsibilities to the College of Public Preceptors. So you probably know the the public preceptors are the people who finally decide when somebody is ready for ordination. So in that sense, they stand as the guarantors for the spiritual development of people who are coming into the order, and therefore in a sense for the whole order. And there are currently six public preceptors. There are three men, three women. Uh, so there's Sabuti, Suvadra, Sona, Srimala, Sangadevi, and Ratnashuri. Ratnashiri's age and health don't really allow her to participate in the college. So there'll be those five public preceptors, and then Bhante's co-opted eight more of us in to help with the work of the college. So it's going to be particularly to those 13 people that Bhante's going to be passing on his responsibilities. And he's very keen that as many of us as possible can live closely together, because one of the things which will guarantee the, the future unity and success of the FWBO is that the members of the college are really in deep harmony. But it, it is just very important both for the, the spiritual future of the movement and for its organisational future that we, as many of us as possible, live and work closely together. Which is why we're standing here in the, in the garden of this house, Brackley Dean, which we've had a, an offer accepted on to buy. Uh, this will be a place where a number of the members of the college will, will live and work together. And it's in Birmingham. We started looking around Birmingham, partly because Birmingham has very good road and rail and air communications. And it's very important that the members of the college can have access to the FWBO in the UK and beyond. It's also important that people in the FWBO have good access to us. The house here will function in a number of ways. It will be a community where some of the members of the college will live and spend time together. Uh, it will also be offices for and the, the members of the college, because it's important that in taking over responsibility from Bante, primarily that means that we have to take a spiritual responsibility. It would be a tremendous shame if Bante passed on his responsibilities to the college and then we spent our time wading around in, in pieces of paper and, and doing administrative work, which other people can do, and we didn't give the sort of spiritual lead to the college that is, is going to be needed. This place hopefully will also be somewhere where 
people from outside the FWBO, journalists and other media people, people from other Buddhist groups, who want to have contact with the FWBO will be able to come and meet members of the college. So it has a number of different purposes. There are also the women preceptors and we're going to buy them a house somewhere close by because as you know we have this single sex principle within the movement so Sangadevi and Srimala they'd like to be close by the men so that we have good communication but not actually under the same roof so we have our sort of two wings of the order but not quite in two wings of the same house they'll be nearby so the FWBO has reached now a major point in its development with Bante stepping back and it's something which is going to affect everybody in the FWBO, directly or indirectly. And it's something which everybody in the FWBO is going to have to, in whatever way they can, support if we're really going to move into this next phase of our development yeah. and see the FWBO blossom and grow more. And I think the fact that we are moving into this new phase is very exciting, it's a challenge. And even just setting up the conditions for it to happen establishing the, the Preceptors College, establishing the Memorial Library. It will ask a lot of the movement, but it will also unite us.